Hi guys, my name is Daniel McLaughlin, professional service engineer with Jamf, and I'm going to show you how to sign a LDAP server with a third party certificate as opposed to a self signed. So if we jump over into my Windows server here, uh, this is already set up as a Active Directory server. Uh, there's my server name, that's the domain, Jamf Pro Services. Go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers, I can see I've got some user computers here. So it is running as an AD, but it hasn't been signed. It's not, it's just running straight LDAP, not LDAP S. If I go to my Jamf server here. Add an LDAP server, AD. Type in the IP address of that. So if I go to the start menu, and prompt IP config 192.168.130.129, just 168.130.129. Pro administrator authenticate, type in my names. See it all there. Go next. Admins all star. So it's working as an Active Directory server at the moment, but it is not secured. If I click into this here, you can see it's only running on 389. It is LDAP, not LDAP S. LDAP 389, just so we can say. Now we could do a self-signed certificate, but some organizations want to use a trusted external certificate. So I'll show you how we can get that. And uh, what that will be meaning is that we don't need to upload it into here. So first thing we need to do is we need to generate a certificate signing request that we can then upload into a certificate authority. So I've got an example of a request file here. Go open with notepad. Quite a simple one here. So the subject, this is where we put in the fully qualified domain name of the server. So in this instance, it would be dc01.jfpro.services. My key length, I might decide to change this to be 2048. Everything else I can leave as it is. So I'll go file and save. So this is my request file, what this will do is when I run this through a certain command, I it will generate a certificate signer request, which I then upload into my CA. So if I close this here, to Windows Explorer, and I go to desktop, so there's my file here. So if I go file, command prompt as administrator. Okay, so it's opened up into that path for the desktop, and I do search req Hash new. I'm putting in the name of the file, which is request.inf, and then the output, which I can say is request.req. Go enter. Request is created, and there it is there. If I right click and open this with Notepad, you can see that it's a certificate sign request. So, next thing I need to do is I need to upload this to a CA. I could if I wanted to put this into the PKI, but what I actually want to do this is with a proper trusted external certificate authority. Now there's quite a few free ones out there. The one I'm going to use today is from Komodo. So if I go Komodo SSL free. So Komodo gives you a 30 a 90 day SSL certificate. You could of course use the same one for paid certificates. I'll say free SSL. Now, a very important thing, the domain that I chose, you see back in here, this domain, this has to be, if you're creating an external CA, or external certificate, I should say, you need to have authority over this domain or have someone who does have authority. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So, I need to copy and paste my CSR. 
So I include the begin certificate request all the way to the end. Copy, cut that there and I'll go paste. Select the server software, so this is a Microsoft one, I'll just use the Microsoft's latest there. It's 90 days. I will opt out of the newsletter and I'll go next. Because this is an external CA, it's going to ask me to verify. So a registered email address, which is this my Gmail address here, or if you have access to an email address that is related to the domain. So is this one here? I'll go continue. That's the name of the server. Good to make sure these are. So DC01, the Jack Rose Services. Again, if I have a look here, it's the name of the server, it's the name of the domain. Country code, so I am in Australia. And I put in the contact details, so. Uh, Oh, that's a telephone number, that's not going to work. 4423, oh, hang on, 4770-4881. And I can pick a password for this one, so I can say... Uh, Jamf Pro Admin. Next. Now, what they will do here is, once I've accepted the terms and conditions, it will send a verification email to the that email address. So that email address has to exist, or at least be um, maybe a group that would then forward on to someone else. So, I bring out my S365 email. There we go. Here's my validation. And copy this. And I'm going to paste next. Okay, so here I've got. certificates that have been provided to me. This is the certificate that I am after. So I'm going to actually just move this to the desktop here. And what I need to do now is I need to import this certificate into the system. So I can do that by going back to my command prompt here. Okay, I go sort req dash accept and then I'm going to do the DC tab on there. Opt CRT. Okay, enter. Should be fine there. I can double check this by going to the start menu and going MMC. Going file, add, remove, snap in, certificates, computer account. And if I extract out this, there is my certificate issued by Komodo. So what that means for me now is, I can, oh, so the, uh, the server should be authenticated into it here now. One important thing you need to do first before this becomes active is you do need to restart. So I'll go into my menu here, and I'll just power off, and I'll reboot the machine. Okay, sign back in, and if I bring up my Jam server here now, if 
go to add an LDAP server. I should be able to do Microsoft Active Directory. Put this as a one there, just to trick it. If it times out then, it gives me the option to enter in the port. Okay, so I'll sign out, I'm gonna go back to nine. And the port is 636. If I go next, Jab Pro, Administrator, go straight through without any issues. Admins, all staff. And if I have a look at this one here now, you'll see it's on 636. It's using SSL. However, I do not need to manually upload the certificate because it is from a third party issued authority. Uh, any questions, please reach out to me on HipChat or email. And I hope that you find this helpful. Thank you very much.